Okay, this tutorial I'm going to show you basic motion tracking. Um, the first one point tracking, take my watch strap for example, you'll be able to track that. I'll show you how that's done, that's easy. Um, then you move on to four corner tracking, which uh, can be a little trickier to get it looking just right and genuine, but uh, things like that was tracked. Um, take the iPad corners so this is the four corner tracking done on a moving subject we'll try and match it up as closely as possible um, it, as I say it is a little trickier but the results as you can see are pretty tasty so let's get on with that okay go to library and uh, behaviours motion tracking and analyze motion grab that drag it onto your clip and that will put uh, a little tracker in the, the center of your screen grab that and put it onto something high contrast that you want to track um, click analyze and let it do its thing. It'll probably take a lot longer than it seems here. I sped this video up just to get through it. Uh, once that's done, we need to create uh, something to track. So uh, we'll just do text for the sake of it. You can use images or whatever else, special effects, but we'll use text for now. Once you've got that, you want to go back to uh, your library and take uh, Match Move, drag that onto your new text layer, and in the source, you want to drop the Analyze Motion that we've done onto the source. That's it. That's it now tracked. Obviously, sometimes it's not ideal where it's placed, so just click that layer, drag it to you where you want it to be, and that's it. Nice. Okay, so four corner tracking. Pretty much the same with behaviors, motion tracking, analyze motion. Grab your Selector, put it in the top left, and then go to Inspector and click Add on Tracker. And put another one top right, just work around the square like that. Just keep doing the same thing. This is basically the same. Um, process is the single point tracking but it will take a bit longer. Hit analyze and I'll speed this up because it takes ridiculously long. Um, you can spend a lot more time than I have to tighten this up. Um, you see at the end the edges are not exactly perfect but it wasn't the ideal video. So take what you want to place in that uh, track point, <clears throat> in this case a video, um, I don't even know what video that is, but we'll, nah, we'll see. So go back to uh, motion tracking, take the match move as we did before, drop it on the new video and change the type to four corner and then take the analyzed motion as before put it in the source and there you have it now uh, to give this a wee bit of an extra effect make it look a bit more genuine change the blend mode of that overlaid video to screen and that helps bring out the reflections uh, it just helps with the final result so there you have it if you like this and you want some more of this sort of thing uh, subscribe Leave me some comments, questions, and even some requests. Cheers.